Hi, welcome back to The Sibling Rivalry. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to be continuing our ongoing Nanoblocks at Noon series. Today we're going to be building the Bactrian Camel Kit, and yeah, let's get started on that. Welcome back from the intro. So, we are going to be building the Bactrian Camel today. So let's get this opened up. I think I managed to get this at the dollar store here, Dollarama in Canada. And yeah, I was surprised. I'm always surprised when you find like non uh, dollar store quality toys at the dollar store. But I guess they've kind of been upping their game to kind of compete with Walmart. Um, okay, so we got the instructions here. Another nice poster one. And this looks like it's pretty simple. It's fairly geometric. So I am going to open up these bags off camera. And let's see if we can find a way to set this that's not going to be a huge disruption to my workspace. I feel like I should have brought my knife with me. Oh, but I've got one in my pocket this time. <laughs> Good old card multi-tool. It's got a little bag cutter, like a little plastic cutter on there. It's handy. Handy dandy. All right, so I'll set the bag off to the side here. Just go through these guys and open them up. I find it interesting that some of them are like these crinkly bags, like a, I don't wanna say like a pet, but like a, like what you'd see on a regular like Lego bag almost, where it's like the crinkly plastic. And then, oh, there's the dishwasher going regular occurrence here in the the, uh, the household. Um, okay. Yeah, some of them are like the, uh, the soft plastic bags, like the stretchy ones. And then other ones are just like the really crinkly ones. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. I'm wondering if only normally certain parts are bagged, and then when they uh, import here to North America, they have to make adjustments, and that's why there's like a difference in the bagging. Like the smallest parts would have to be bagged. That kind of makes sense to me. Maybe I'm just off uh, my rocker, but I would think that would make sense. That because I know there's a lot of laws in the states for choking hazards in toys. That's why Kinder Eggs, Kinder Surprise, isn't uh, really a thing in the states. You can't get them because they're considered a choking hazard because it's a candy with a toy inside of it. Even though if you swallow that giant freaking pill the size of a... <laughs> Um, giant marshmallow. Um, yeah, you got bigger problems. Um, okay, so to start out, we need seven of these. Okay, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ooh, hoo. I can count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, looks good. Yeah, three and three. 
Okay, now we need four of these guys. I feel like I'm just making this into a huge mess. This is like that, uh, if you guys have been on Instagram, you might have seen Ellen DeGeneres trying to do a very advanced Lego architecture set when she hasn't done like, I don't know if it's that she hasn't done Lego in a long time or just has never done a Lego kit. And she just like jumped in head first and like emptied all the bags onto the table and then kind of had a bit of <laughs> anxiety episode. Um, understandably so, it's a pretty intimidating thing, some of these Lego and Nanoblocks kits. Okay, we just need three of these and two of the little one pegs. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move this stuff off a little bit. Okay, so. For starters, we take this, take two of these, put them there. I'm just going from this end in. Next, we take two of these. And we're going to, well, I'm actually going to build this as we go of have something to work with rather than just these tiles kind of free-floating um, okay and that goes there okay and we take oh it took me a second to realize no I'm Oh no, I'm not going crazy. I'm just already crazy. Slowly I'm going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch. There we go. And slowly I'm my six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Okay. Um. Oh, these are the wrong ones. I meant to grab these. That could have been bad. Okay. And we want these on top of these, connecting this way. jobbies right there I think the architectural kits are easier to kind of assemble because you're kind of just going layers any of the geometric ones tend to do that from what I've noticed so far anything that's kind of round or organic shaped gets a little frustrating okay so we want these, oh, like so, more or less. And then we take these on top, and we are going to connect them this way. From what it's showing here, at least. make sure that they're aligned that way apparently whoop 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 okay so that goes like that these go off like that right on 
almost like a fish shape. But we're not building a fish. So. These go like this to connect that to that. said I have to have this facing this way. I'm presuming that that will come to play later on in the design. Okay, still kind of not super sturdy, but let's go on to step two. So step two requires four of these, I'll just call them eight pegs. So there we go, there's four of those. You need three of these little four peg jobbies. So there we go, that's three. Six little L's. There's three, four, five, six. Okay. Twelve of the three pegs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe I seem crazy by measuring these out. But from my experience, it's better to have them kind of metered out, so to speak. And that way you know if you have something left over from that step, rather than just kind of picking them as you need them. Because that can backfire. If you miss something, then all of a sudden, you have to go and figure out how far back you have to disassemble the whole thing. Okay, so we start out with that. Take that, put that on there. Sorry in advance if my hands cover anything. That's just side effect of how this works. Okay, do this over there.
Oh, I missed two of these. Because we need 12 of them. Okay. I oh, I see what I did. They're sitting next to each other. Oh, I didn't miss them. I just am an idiot. Okay. Alright, now we take these guys and do this. Like that. Take one of these guys, put them across there. It's getting sturdier, which is nice. It was really, really flimsy at first, and I was kind of worried that this was just going to keep falling apart as I went along. But things seem to be snugging up, so to speak. Alright. Now we can do that. Do that. And then we continue with these to kind of connect these corner bits. So we go like that. Good. Looking good. Okay, so now we need eight of these. Three. Ow. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Four of these. Okay. One of these guys. And then we need eight of the two peggy jobs. Peg jobbies. Okay. There's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and there's eight. Okay, right. Yep, eight. All right, so how do we start here? We put one guy this way, looks like, and we take these them on the sides there. And how are you guys holding up throughout this pandemic? Are you in quarantine like me? Are you being forced to go back to work? Are, is your job considered an essential service and remained open? I know here in Canada, it's pretty much only essential services are open physically. Um, a lot of places are still doing e-commerce. So like order online and they're starting to do order online for uh, certain stores and then you go and pick up the product at the physical store. So I know I was looking at getting some parts from Lowe's for some ventilator masks or some respirator masks that I was making and uh, yeah uh, apparently they are closed physically like for physical customers, but you can order online and do curbside pickup. So 
so that's going to be interesting for ordering those parts because I tried Amazon and Amazon saying that I won't get the parts until like May and I need the parts pretty much now to be honest um, but yeah that's life I guess so I need three of these Oop. Oop. three of these guys so there's one two and three two of the little L's six of the two pegs of these little adapty sort of guys. Thinking about it now with the uh, the packaging like I was mentioning earlier how weird it is that there's the difference in bags I imagine that initially the soft plastic bag is what would normally like normally you'd have just the little bits inside of it and then everything else would be just loose in the big bag and then because they have to import it they have to do that because it makes sense that you'd already have the uh, if you have small loose parts you definitely want to keep those together but the other stuff would be fine unless you have restrictions on import in which case then then it would make sense to adjust the packaging Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to do that. And oh, that. And we're going to do the same thing down here. Step five, we're gonna start building ahead. Woohoo. Okay, we need two of these. Two of the threes. There we go. There's the two threes. Excuse me. One of the little uh, two to one guys. Two single pegs in brown, four triple pegs in the cream, I'll call it just cream color because that's the closest I can think of, it's like ivory maybe. Um, I'm hesitant to call colors by the names I think they are because I get corrected on that a lot. I see the different colors, I'm not colorblind, but I have a tendency to use the wrong terms for things. It's part of just my general whatever condition, I guess. In to see what condition my condition was in. Okay. There we go. There's that. Do that. 
that and that. guys right in the front there. A little tricky. There we go. Okay, now to build the head, we have to go and do this. So, we start out with two on the bottom. The nose is that. I'm not showing some of this on camera. My bad. Sorry, guys. Um, next, we do another one, but in the cream. So it's going to look like that. Then we set this across, and we have it kind of staggered so that it's not evenly spaced. Or it is evenly spaced, I guess. Um, then we do this as such, like that, and camel eyes, camel eyes, we spit into the skies, I want camel eyes, oh, that's cute. Careful, he spits. Okay. Okay, now we turn them around. We need one of these to go this way, to kind of hold them together, and then a brow right there. So now you can see he is camel, yes. a little better to get a better view for you guys. Okay, now we need four of these. Four and two of the two pegs. Two times two times two. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, and then this. And then three of these. I know I'm probably building this backwards compared to how most people would do it here, but. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Why should I care? I don't care. How does this connect? Oh, it connects like that. Okay. Oh, his tail just came off. That's a little flimsy. But that's life, I guess. <laughs> Keep on trying to wipe the blood from your hands, but it won't go. Didn't matter. Things like dirt, but it looks like fun. Okay, it's very fragile. But we will set him like this. And now we will start working on. Step seven. Okay, so for step seven, we flip them upside down. We need one, four, three, three, or th yeah, three threes. You know, you know what I mean. 
Do you know what I am saying? Five of these. Okay. And two L's. Okay. Oop. Didn't mean to knock his neck off. Is that that's supposed to go up here actually? Okay. So it goes like that. Next we do these. This might be the shortest one we've done. I don't know. I shouldn't say that too early because that could just backfire horribly. Just tempting fate. Running up that road, running up that road, running up that road. If I don't fall for the grace of God. go. Looking more camely every minute. Okay, let's see. Step eight. Step eight is the final step. You get to build his feet. His feet are very dainty. I might actually go back and glue his legs. I know as horrifying as that is. Um, yeah. Okay. So legs need that, that, and then we take one of these and we go like that. this way so there we go we got a leg and they're all I don't know the back two are like that they're slightly taller because his back legs are recessed up a little bit okay and these go in not flush with either edge but just kind of in the middle like that Okay, now we do this. 
this. Same deal here. Just kind of place it in the middle there. There we go. He's got his back legs. Looking like a camel. Okay. Now. Ooh. Do this. Take one of these. We take. One of these, and then build off that with four cream colored or ivory colored. camel. I'm a three-legged camel. I can't stand upright. Okay, got a lot of extra parts on this kit. Looking at it. I'm always impressed when there's like a substantial amount extra. Okay, so do... Oh, wrong color. Wrong color. Okay. Green. Do four of these. So there's two, three, and four. Okay. And then we just put on one of these. these. There we go. You got yourself a working camel. Alright, I guess that's it. Um, okay, cool. Alright, so that is the Bactrian Camel. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's a bit of a shorter one compared to the other Nanoblox kits. Um, it is only a level two, so I mean, yeah. I don't know if I have a level five, we'll have to see. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, check out our other videos in the Nanoblox at Noon series. Um, this should be the second one going up, but it's not our second nanoblocks. We've got a bunch more. So stay tuned. We're going to have nanoblocks at noon every Saturday. So see you next time. Bye for now.